this is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube and The Secret YouTuber on TikTok. If you are new to my channel, I welcome you. Thank you for checking out this video and thank you for checking out my channel. This channel is for beginners. I offer step-by-step -step video tutorials on YouTube, WordPress, social media content marketing, and Kindle Direct Publishing. If you are tuning into my channel for the very first time, I have started a series of tutorials called You Are The Creator for new authors to make money from the privacy and security of your own home. You are the creator. You write the script. You put your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and with a little bit of imagination, the sky is the limit. If you want to become an author and make money from home, I am here to tell you that you can do it. Yes, you can. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. It doesn't matter whether you know grammar or spelling. Any of those spelling blocks you can turn into stepping stones by using programs such as Grammarly and the Power Thesaurus. In the creator series, I show you step-by-step -step video tutorials that will help you to be able to write your manuscript using the, the Microsoft Word Dictate, how to upload and convert your manuscript into the Kindle Create software, how to use the Kindle Create software, how to set up and publish a Kindle Ready ebook and paperback through the Kindle Direct Publishing, and finally, how to join the ACX, find a narrator, and create an audiobook for worldwide distribution on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes. To get serious about writing your book? If you are, then you have arrived at the right time, and this is the right channel for you to start your journey with. And thank you for checking out my channel. Every one of us is a creator, whether it be a books, videos, or articles. You are the creator. You write your own script on YouTube. This is my journey of creating and publishing my first book and audiobook. So why listen to me? Because I share all of my tips, tricks, and secrets, and shortcuts that I have learned from my own experience. The knowledge I share is free to everyone. Knowledge is power. In the following video, I am going to talk about DTEX properties, what the cascade formatting changes for elements is, where to find all your elements on the page, where to find your standard elements, and how to use them. Without further ado, I give you just the facts. Let's dive right into the video. I am sharing with you all my tips, tricks, and secrets that I have learned. And using the text properties and the cascade formatting changes for all of your elements in the beginning when you first start editing your manuscript into a Kindle ebook, identifying all of your elements that are in your book is your first step. Under the text properties, you will be able to see current element. Whenever you place your cursor in front of text, it will tell you what the current element is that you are working with. Your elements are all of the elements of your page in your book. For your chapter title, highlight any time you want to change anything you will highlight and tap on formatting. Here you can see the bold italics underline, change the size, change the color. Set your font face three different types, Bookerly, Amazon Ember, or Moonspace. Your advanced font options, your strike through, your two times smaller, and your two times larger. Your case, your lowercase, and your title case. Uppercase, lowercase, and title case. 
which is capitalizing the first letter of each word. You can use a highlight color by highlighting, tapping downward arrow, and choosing from this color, color palette here, the recent colors you use, or the advanced color selector. Paragraph is your alignment. For example, for your, and you see where you're working, you're working in your chapter title, you have your chapter title highlighted. You can also a letter spacing, and this will space your letters out. Paragraph is for alignment to the, to the left, to the middle, to the right, and justified. You can apply the drop cap. This tells you that it goes down three characters you can use the downward arrow and change it to two or you can also use the upward arrow on the next editing box to change the number of characters to three at the most. If you don't want a plot the drop cap just uncheck the box your indents. This tells you you are in nine from your margin. The downward arrow will move your, your text the upward arrow will move your text from the margin to the right. This will move all of your text over to the right and this will move all of your text from the right to the left. This one will indent the first word of your paragraph. Everything is considered a paragraph. Whether it is one sentence, two sentences, three sentences, it is considered a paragraph. Your subtitle, and here you can see when you place your cursor, you are working in your subtitle. When you highlight your subtitle, you can then use the formatting panel here to bold italics, underline, change the size, change the color of the font, set font face, use the advanced font image uh, options, highlight color. If you choose a highlight color for your uh, subtitle, say we choose this as a subtitle, you will, you will be able to preview this, what it will look like on all of the different devices your paragraph alignment to the left, to the middle, to the right, and justified. You can apply your drop cap and here are your indents. Your spacing is what is on top of your text. So this will move spacing on top of your text. This will move spacing on the bottom of your text and this will move spacing on the top and the bottom. Anytime you want to undo a mistake that you made, you just click on this undo button right there. And this will save you a lot of time. 
It is all about saving time. Elements on the page. These are elements that will appear on every single page. Your chapter title, your chapter subtitle, and your chapter first paragraph. Place your cursor and choose your element. Highlight to format. And here you can choose for your first paragraph, bold, italics, underline, the size that you would like it, the color, the font, your advanced font options, if you wanted to use a highlight color, letter spacing. The paragraph here, you could see it's justified. Here it is moved to the left, here it is in the middle, and here it is on the right. Your drop cap if you wanted to use that for your first paragraph and your indents. This will move all of your text over. Not just the first line, all of your text. And this will move to the right. This will move to the left. And this is your indent. And five is a good indent and sometimes you could use six as well as an indent. But be consistent with your indents. If you're using five as an indent, then be consistent with five. If you're using six, be consistent with six. Here is your first paragraph. Your space on the top of the paragraph, your space on the bottom of the paragraph, in your space on the top and the bottom. All of the editing and formatting, all of the formatting of your elements is all the same. You will see the same editing. Your font, your advanced font options, your highlight color, your paragraph, your drop cap, your indents, and your spacing. And also you can choose your font face for your first paragraph. At any time, you can choose your element. As an example, I place my cursor here and I choose subheading. I place my cursor here and choose block quote. When I highlight this, this is my block quote, I can format my block quote to the way that I would like to see it. You would use all of the formatting options that are available to you. And as long as you have this checked here, it will cascade through all of your pages. The standard elements, these are when you are going through your, when you are going through your manuscript and you decide, I want to make this into a subheading, I want to make this into a block quote, this will be a poem. You can always use a separator at any point. The way to get rid of the separator is to highlight and delete. You can go through your manuscript, choose opening quotes, or opening quote credits. As long as you have your cascade formatting changes here, you save everything. Now you will be able to see, this is your chapter one, chapter two is your chapter title, exactly, your chapter subtitle, and your chapter first paragraph. Chapter three, chapter title, chapter subtitle, 
and chapter first paragraph. Everything will cascade down to exactly the way that you set it up. Recap. Your elements on the page, and these are your elements that will appear on every single page, your chapter title, your chapter subtitle, and your chapter first paragraph. These are standard elements that you can create through your manuscript just by putting your cursor in front and choosing the standard element that you'd like. As example, this is a block quote, this is a poem. At any time, if you feel you want to change anything, you can highlight and choose the formatting. But these are templates that are already formatted for you. Anytime you want to see what the, your elements look like, you will just click on the preview. This is what it will look like on the phone. On the phone and on the tablet. You can look at any of your chapters to see that it has cascaded through all of your manuscript. Watching this video, if you found this video helpful, then give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, you can also watch the playlist that I created for beginners just like you, new authors, in which I show you from the beginning how you can create your manuscript, use Kindle Create, how you can set up your Word to be able to use the different options that you will need for your manuscript to be uploaded to the Kindle Create, how you can use the Grammarly for your grammar and the Power Thesaurus for your word power, how to upload and convert your manuscript to the Kindle Ready eBook, and please join the Facebook new group for new authors in which you can share your ideas, learn upcoming new ideas, talk with other people, and be able to post information about your own book. You can also check out this Prime member exclusive to get three months free of Audible. Three months free to make a decision on whether you would like to keep Audible or not. The Plus catalog along with thousands of other Audible podcasts and audiobooks for you to be able to listen to. You can also check out my audiobook for free, or you can look at the Kindle edition or the paperback edition to give you an idea. Everything that I'm showing you right now is what I will be teaching you in the You Are The Creators tutorial playlist. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and follow. And I look forward to hanging out with you in the next video. Stay safe. Have a wonderful evening.